So this question says the graph of x squared plus x plus y squared plus y equals 199 over 2 in the xy plane is a circle. Okay, let me just stop right there. So the equation for a circle should look like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So the fact that it doesn't already look like that most likely means I'm going to need to use completing the square on this. Complete the square as a method of getting this to look like that. What is the length of the circle's radius? So the whole question is basically to figure out what r equals. So let's start off with this um, equation that's been provided, x squared plus x. In fact, I'll just jump straight into completing the square. So x squared plus x, how do I complete the square there? I take half of the middle term. The coefficient in front of x is 1. Half of 1 is 1 half. Then I square that and add it. So 1 half squared is 1 fourth, so it gets added here. But guess what? It also gets added, and let me just make some more space. Because I've added it to the left side, right? It was not there before. I have to also add it on the right side, so 1 fourth. Um, let's take care of the y's. So then I have plus y squared plus y. Same thing. In terms of my y values, the coefficient of this middle term is 1. Half of 1 is 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So I also add 1 fourth here to the left, which means I'm also adding it over here to the right. And then I already had this 199 over 2, right? So I'll just put that there as well. So the next step is in terms of my x's, this will always simply be the variable, so x, and whatever half the middle term was, which is 1 half, so x plus 1 half, and squared. The same thing with this, this becomes y plus 1 half, and squared. Then I have to add all these things together. So I have liked, I have common denominators for the first two fractions. In fact, let me just add them together. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 2 fourths, which is the same as 1 half. This becomes 1 half plus 199 over 2. But that can be simplified, of course, because that has a common denominator as well. So that becomes 200 over 2. And 200 divided by 2 is just 100. So now that we've seen how I got there, I'm going to erase this and just put 100 here. Okay, so what's the length of the circle's radius? Well, again, when I start comparing or matching up, right, like this now looks like this. This now looks like this. And 100 is our r squared term. So r squared equals 100. So when I square root both sides, r is equal to 10. So there's my answer. That's the length of the radius, 10.